In this video, I'm going to explain the process to load custom video advertisements onto your ATM. Beginning with software version 42, ATM machines with an ACU6 or ACU7 mainboard can now support video files to play as advertisements when the machine is idle. Videos can be loaded via SD or USB directly at the ATM, or the files can also be sent via GenRMS. For this video, we'll stick with loading the files at the ATM. The first step will be to obtain video files in one of the following formats. MP4, AVI, WMV, MOV. The maximum resolution size is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Any video uploaded that is a higher resolution will be converted down to that size. It is recommended to use that resolution as it will work for the Onyx and Nova, which have higher resolution screens, but also for the G2500 and other models with lower resolution screens. Up to eight video files can be loaded directly to the mainboard. There is also an option to load eight additional videos, which will play directly from an SD card that you'll need to leave in the ATM. The combined memory size of all files must not exceed 100 megabytes. Videos are managed and prepared for use in the ATM using this free utility called the Video Pack Editor. This Windows application is available from Tech Support. Send us an email and we'll be happy to share a download link. You'll also find this link in the Video Pack Editor's Guide, which is included with any GenMega ATM software download. Once running the Video Pack Editor, you'll see spaces for the eight videos available for loading. As you add content, you can see the total size up at the top of the screen. Remember not to exceed 100 megabytes. Click on the individual video slots and you'll be prompted to choose a video to load in that position. Browse to the location on your hard drive where the video exists and select that file. That video will then be loaded in the chosen slot and you can see it playing as a thumbnail. At this time, you can choose a name for that video. Continue choosing videos until you're done with the ad campaign. When you're done, up at the top of the screen, select the option to Create on SD Card. Then choose for ACU Board Download. You'll then be prompted to create a name for this ad campaign. This will allow you to open it later for editing. For example, if you want to add or remove videos. Choose a name for the campaign and click Save. You'll now be asked to select which SD card or USB drive to save the video files to. Please note that the drive should be empty, as this program will delete any existing files as you proceed. Choose the drive letter that matches your memory card, and then the video files will be created. Once it's done, you're ready to remove the drive from your computer. Insert the memory device containing your videos into the mainboard on the back of the screen. If your ATM has a camera, unplug the USB cable temporarily while loading the videos. With the card inserted, power off and then back on. The files will load as the mainboard boots up. You may notice it takes longer to load at the GenMega logo screen. Once the ATM boots up, enter the operator function menu. If using a master password, press ATM OP to proceed. From the main menu, choose Customer Setup. Then choose Screen Graphics. Next, choose Video Ad Function Setup. In this screen, you'll have some options. Set the Video Ad Function to Enabled. This will allow your videos to play. The Welcome Text option, if enabled, will show whatever custom welcome message you may have entered over the top of your video as it plays. Disabled, it will not show the welcome text. With Image Ad, this option, if enabled, will also play any static ad screens 
that may also be loaded following your video ads. Disabled, the static images will not be shown, only the video ads. The Delete Video Ad screen will show you which video files are currently loaded. Here you can see the three sample files I created earlier. This screen also shows any videos that may be played from an SD card. Delete All will remove all video files. Or you can delete Add File Number to select a specific video to delete. The rest will stay and continue playing. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please contact your mega support.